Hello YouTube, I'm here in the mountains of Montana and I was going to bring you today a how-to, a do-it-yourself improved tent pad. So I've got a spot here that I want to make as a uh, permanent uh, tent location. Anytime somebody shows up, they know that the tent pad's going to be uh, ready to go. They don't have to do all the prep that I've done and they're going to have a nice comfy uh, pad uh, bottom to their tent. So let me go through what I've done so far and then I'll bring you along with the additional steps. So the first thing, you know, when I started, it looked mostly like this. There were some patches that were a little bit more clear. They just had uh, debris breaking down underneath the trees. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take out all of the larger little bushes. Uh, you want to get them, uh, either just rip them out if they will, or uh, use a grubbing hoe of some sort. I use that tool right there to actually uh, cut their root in the soil so you don't have little stobs sticking out. Those will be a bane to you later if you leave them. So you clear off the spot, you rake it. I raked it, it was nice good soil material. I'm saving it for later. All right, next, once you've cleared it out, you're gonna want to level it. You know, there were some dips right there and everything. Uh, it's okay to have a little bit of slant that can be good for water runoff so you don't have little puddles forming in your tent pad. And you know, most people don't mind sleeping with their feet slightly below their head area, but you don't want a dip like this you don't want you know a, a very extreme slant so you're gonna want to level it out fairly good all right now I've gathered logs I was fortunate enough on this location that within 150 foot walking distance I was able to gather all of these logs I'm just gonna add another little section there I position them though where I think it'll be big enough for most tents uh, you are going to want to make sure that as you pull in, they can stake within this area. Um, so you do want it bigger than the tent will be. And then I've kind of made that so if they have a tent with a, uh, a front opening or a larger area in front, there's some space for it. And then I gathered up uh, these stakes. I'm going to be cutting them in half and driving them at least one on the inside of the post and at least two on the outside of each post so that these stay in place and then I have um, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to gather and bring in but I do have sand within a reasonable distance that I'm gonna bring in and add some to this to uh, to level it out as well may not be a whole lot but we will see so those are the basics uh, that's how you start that's the things that you want to keep in mind uh, the other thing I did, I put this one fairly close to this tree. I cleaned, uh, cleaned off all of the, the branches for that one. This tree here had a branch that was uh, drooping down a lot. You want to clear that out uh, to about six or seven feet so you don't have the branches brushing on the tent. And then you want it, it is convenient, it is a nice location right here um, to have your tent close to this tree. And this tree because then if um, if you need to add a tarp over the tree for additional rain coverage you can run a line across if you need a tie off you have that one right there if you need an anchor point or a strong uh, point you can and then maybe if somebody isn't going to tent camp they can still set up a hammock across this spot right here and it's you know they would be able to step off into the tent pads so they're not going to step off barefooted onto stobs uh, they could put a platform there um, to keep their things on they could put their uh, camp gear you know not a suitcase but whatever they might have their their cooktop in and everything on the tent spat the tent pad so those are the things to think about um, Let's see, I'm not going to be able to get the sand in right now, so I'm going to stake this, show you that, and then that might be all for this video, and I will uh, put a part two once I have fully completed it, and I'll go over everything at that point. Oh, one other additional point. Um, I guess I, I will probably go in and, and remove some more of the 
undergrowth you know within a perimeter because that will most of these plants do send out roots and plants coming up there and if it's neglected for 12 months you're gonna have a lot of plants that you're gonna have to do a lot of work on later so it's just better when you're preparing it to clear a perimeter which will delay the amount of time that you'll have things coming up within your tent spot you know it's okay having some grass um, that's soft it'll lay down and everything but the uh, the little sticks the little these little guys I mean like this little stick right here can definitely put a hole in your tent you want to avoid that you know all of these can break off and then and then it'll leave a little stob that if you have it growing within this area you're risking putting holes in your tarps in your tents later hope this was helpful thank you so much y'all take care before you go I did say I was going to show you the staking so here's what I did on the staking um, I was sure to put them in at an angle so it kind of bound it down the second thing I thought of and I wanted to point it out was um, you do want to hammer this down to the level of the log so it's not a tripping hazard if you have these along here sticking up and out uh, above the the height of the log then you'll make a tripping hazard so I put one in or two on the outside there's one right there also at an angle so it's binding it down one on the inside there's one behind the leaf there, the second one right there, one on the inside. I just did that all the way around. And they'll stay in place, but it's going to help out a little bit. At least when you're getting it set up, and if they get kicked, it'll have some resilience so that they won't move. Probably going to leave this open. This is the high spot right here, so I probably won't even have sand up to this spot. So, might leave that open instead of trying to install a little small one that'll just move and get kicked and it won't stay in place. Again, thanks so much for watching. Hope this helped. Take care now.